Hello everyone, welcome to the Ichimoku.co daily futures market review for the trading day ending Tuesday, July 26th. Firstly to the bonds, US 30 year bond futures and here we see a continuation of this small body trading that we've seen over the last four consecutive trading days. It does show a distinct lack of interest in this market at the moment and a formation of a shadow on the top and on the bottom once again highlights the indecision in this market. This is a spinning top type candle and what we see here is uh, the uh, rejection um, from the Tenkan-sen which has acted as resistance today, the downside rejection, but also the upside rejection from the Kijun-sen support. So a lot of indecision in this market. Um, the Kijun-sen has held a strong support for the last uh, five days or so and also just down below the, the 170.26 previous resistance level now acting as support and if we do trade two lower levels that is an area that we will need to uh, watch. At the moment uh, we are seeing the market trade very close to both the Kijun Sen and the Tenkan Sen so it certainly does seem as though we may see a breakout in either direction for today's trading activity. Um, if the breakout is to the upside we'd like to see the market clear through the uh, highs of these candles this candle extends up to about the 172.23 level and uh, some strong bullish uh, uh, trading activity uh, at higher levels certainly could end up seeing the market trading through the 173.25 by the same token any bearish breakout down below 170.26 could see uh, firstly that swing low tested at uh, about 169.30 and then a possible uh, trade down to uh, support at 167.15 in terms of Ichimoku, a lot of indecision in this market. In the longer term time frame, we remain positive by trading above the cloud, but we're very close to both the Kijun Sen and the Tenkan Sen, so uh, uh, the market does seem as though it could be entering a transition phase in the shorter term and medium term time frames. Looking to the bands, and uh, the market uh, continues to trade within uh, the bands and uh, just below or around that uh, bottom band, suggesting uh, that there is some slight weakness to the market, but not a, a, any uh, a strong negative tone at the moment. Previously, we were trading outside of the um, upper band. Uh, this type of trading activity does suggest that the market may be preparing to transition into a stronger downtrending phase, but at the moment, whilst that lower band continues to hold a support, uh, we're unlikely to see any strong downtrending action. Uh, to uh, confirm strong downtrending activity would uh, require a strong bearish breakout down below that lower band with some strong follow through and uh, possibly taking out that swing low around the 169.30 level. Next to gold futures, and gold futures is trading in a very similar manner that we've, that we've seen with uh, the bonds and uh, testing around the Kijun Sen indicator as we saw with the uh, 30 year bonds uh, holding a support, a very important benchmark for us here. Bouncing off there in a minor way, a small bodied uh, candle, but a switch from black bodies to uh, white bodies suggesting there has been a mild switch in momentum in net terms away from the uh, sellers to the buyers. Uh, but we do have strong overhead resistance at the Tankard Sen, which at the moment trades uh, around 13.24. At the moment in this new candle, we are seeing the market trade higher, and we are uh, trading just above that Tankard Sen indicator, attempting to trade through this previous resistance and support level at 13.29, and that will be a very important area moving forward. If the market can break out in a bullish manner above there with some strong follow through, we could end up seeing gold futures trading back up to around this 1350 area but a bearish breakout, a bearish close down below the Kijun Sen could see the market testing back down eventually to around that 1300 round number level of support. At the moment a fairly indecisive trading in that uh, um, medium to short term time frame by trading very close to both the Kijun Sen and the Tankard Sen but the uh, longer term remains a positive with price action above the Ichimoku cloud. And just looking at the bands here with gold futures and uh, here we've seen the market perhaps transitioning into a uh, downtrending phase although we have seen a move higher today and trading back within the bands but for the last two days we've seen trading outside of the bands suggesting that there is uh, perhaps some uh, weakness in this market 
and uh, what we saw previously was that bearish breakout but the lack of strong follow through to the downside failed to confirm uh, this bearish activity and now we see the market trading back within the bands so if we do see any attempted rally here we will be watching the middle of the bands at 1337 to hold as resistance Next to NYMEX Oil and uh, certainly a weakness uh, with NYMEX Oil at the moment. Um, another black body candle, much smaller than the previous, uh, less than half the size of the previous, does warn that uh, even though we do have still continued net momentum to the downside, it is smaller and suggesting that these sellers are perhaps not as strong as they were previously. So one um, very interesting situation here where we like to see uh, confirmation of breakouts below the cloud here in a, a bearish manner, but uh, <laughs> Undecisive whether this is a strong bearish uh, uh, follow through here. We do have a black body candle. The sellers have closed with control, but just uh, suggesting that uh, there is still um, the, the, the follow through certainly hasn't been as strong as previously. So, some doubt about whether we will see the trend continue to the downside. Um, I'd suggest that we do need to watch 42.45 previous resistance level now acting as support for this candle. What I'd like to see is a breakout down below there, a strong bearish breakout. And if we do see that, we probably could see the market uh, end up trading back down to around that $40 round number. If we do see the market rally off this support, potentially strong resistance at the bottom of the Ichimoku cloud around the 4420 area. Just looking at NYMEX Oil with the uh, bands here, and the, this really does put um, the medium term time frame into perspective and it really does highlight the weakness in this market in that medium term time frame where we're trading down below that bottom band and we have been for some time and certainly down below the middle of the bands uh, we have a strong negative tone here the formation of a smaller body candle does uh, raise doubt about the continuation of the trend to the downside uh, there is potential for a change of trend but if we do see that change of trend occur with a higher high and a higher low then uh, we are likely to see some resistance coming in at that lower band at 43.83.